land, and those men who are not prepared will succumb to its foul clutches. For God shows no mercy on those who heed not his words. Thus will the end come, and the world, made unworthy in his eyes, will be purified by black angels, so that he may begin anew. Hi there and welcome, this is Zombie Survival Mode and um, this will be a full run through showing you all the CCTV boxes and weapons that I got in a previous, well weapons I didn't get in a previous stream, sorry, um, which include a spiked baseball bat, a shovel and a few other shotguns. Right, so I've just got to get to the safe house for the start of this here, I've completed the game. Um, the first one I did on standard didn't work, it glitched out right at the end and I've completed it on chicken mode just to complete the game once, um, I have to do it, I have to complete it three times for all the trophies, but yeah I thought I'd show you the intro anyway, I can't die on this mode this is survival, you know, you only get one life. If you lose, you end the game. And there's only one place I've died so far, guaranteed every time, but I'm gonna make sure I don't this time. Um, it's in the church catacombs. Okay. So I'm in the main bit, let's grab the prepper pack. This is your main safe Killed house. Myself. I call it the prepper pad. It's a smart map with radar and a connection back to me, so I can watch over you, and you'll need it. Better saw the lights out. There's okay, let's go turn the generator on. See the green light on your smart map? Now you can see what you're doing. This will be a very long live stream. It's going to be going for at least five hours. You see, the last person I tried to help went outside without the pad, and look how that ended. But there okay, is something so else dead. you can use. <clears throat> that backpack is a bob, bug out pad. See, you need it, and what's inside. I'll also be showing you where to get the extra large and the double XL bags as well, the upgrades for that. Let's go find the previous survivor. Over there, where that now might be a good time to try out your radar. Okay, got he's got a baseball bat there. A cricket bat, he's not a baseball bat. What am I talking about? 
There we go. Ooh, so I've got his bag and now I should have a gun. Uh, Good going. And this quick about obviously. Now, check that Bob. As I recall, there's a pistol and ammo you're definitely gonna need. Right, let's go back to the safe house. More than 20 hours awake and your decision making goes to pieces. Don't neglect your sleep. Head back to the main room and take another look at the monitors. Gonna have a sleep while it's sleeping. I'm gonna take this opportunity to go for it, go to the toilet now, um, so I don't go in the middle of the stream. I'm back in literally about five seconds. Right, okay, sorry for that. <clears throat> now let's carry on, we're gonna go look at the CCTV. They're hooked into CCTV cameras there. all over London. This one's from a supermarket near you. <clears throat> There's one of the CCTV the boxes. Better. There's more cameras at that location, so I'll, I'll walk you through hacking them. Okay. People Thank you think for that. CCTV cameras are secure, hardwired to police Okay, let's HQ. go get the two CCTV boxes uh, in the supermarket area, army. which is Brick Lane Market. Time for your first field trip. Those cameras won't fix themselves, and you need to do a little shopping. Okay. Right, up we go. Hi there, thanks for joining. We've just started, uh, just started really. It won't take long to get further in the game. Let's just... Shit, you've got incoming. Check your radar. You. Okay, I'm gonna need that later on, so I don't wanna waste too much ammo. Mm, we okay. need a key card to get out. There's bound to be one somewhere at that station. Use your pad's environmental scanner to search the area. Perimeter Come on. Calm. Okay, what have you got for me? A soda. Why, thank you. Okay, so we're gonna go through here. There should be, um, there's nothing in these, I don't think, if I remember. Oh, there's a key card, sorry. That's the one. Planks. I do get uh, an, a hammer in the supermarket area. Which is used to undo the planks on the doors and to this put them up as well. My handiwork. A long time ago, our team up with a bunch of no hope. It's called the Ravens of D. Nice. I helped them fortify places like look. this because we knew this was coming. Large health kit. You need to save as much as you can, really. Um, use the melee as pos uh, as often as possible. Make sure you literally search every corner. Alright, so as I said, I'm on my way to the supermarket now. This is a one shot. I have to do this without dying. Otherwise, one, the game ends and I have to start all over again. And two, that will probably end the stream if I do die. Let's skip past the menu there. Okay. John D predicted the plague and the Great Fire of London that stopped it. And he saw plague victims in his own lifetime. Even tried to find a cure. The panacea. Use your pad to scan. I'll get that for you. I've locked the place down for your safety. Well, thank you for uh, okay, you're free to opening come and the door. Now. There we go. Alright, hi there. Thanks for joining. We're just at the start of the game, really. Scan every CCTV junction box you locate so I can hack it and bring those cameras back. How many are over there? Whoa, 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 are you sure you're ready to face down a bloody horde? It's your life. Yeah. 
Just let him get a little bit closer. I have beaten this sword before. Da, da, da. You, you're my first one. Right, there we go, there's the first horde of zombies down. I have used all my ammo, but I don't really uh, need it at this point in time. Let's just loot them all now. So you can kill my... Oh, there's another one there that I missed. Okay, so they had literally nothing on them anyway. Um, slight waste, but not necessarily. Okay, so there's shovel you get at the Victoria Monument. Okay, so I have this area now, the map wise. Now, obviously, being on uh, survival mode, the zombies. Probably going to be a little bit tougher than normal. Okay, let's unlock this. A Take them all. There we go. It's number one shortcut good now. Good work, soldier. Right, off to the supermarket we go. I'll pick for that door. Actually, I want to. Got it. Triangulating. It's inside the supermarket. Be careful. There we go. I'm gonna use the pistol a little bit to start with because I want to. Uh, I want to upgrade the skills that you get with the pistol. Um, plus, it'll make it more accurate and everything as well. Just uh, give me two seconds. There. I've just got to let the light charge back up again before I carry on. Okay, let's charge it up and it should be enough. Use your radar. You have to ping areas manually if you want to know what's lurking. Well, you only have to ping, uh, ping stuff now. Throwing flag. You don't now have to later. Handy. Bright lights to distract the One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you for the chocolate bar. And what have you got for me? A bit of pistol ammo. Okay, so the supermarket is this way. Uh, I know there's a few zombies about to arrive just as soon as I go and open the door. Which I might actually use one of those flares as a diversionary tactic. Go, we're in the supermarket. Okay. Those poor coppers were probably responding to the supermarket's alarm, but they've uh, got bigger problems now. Alright, I know there's a little guy on the floor here, he's always here. Thank you. Hi there, thanks for joining. We just got to the supermarket now. Oh, hello. Just 
what have you got? Oh, okay, you've got ammo left, perfect. Okay, right, here we go. Find hammer. You're gonna need okay, to I've got the, the hammer. Uh, there should be some planks While you're lying there, around. Stock up. If it's not nailed down, loot it. Mm. Oh, wrong button. All right, let's pop this open. I've got to be a bit more careful than I have been so far. I mean, taking a horde without my normal weapons and like it, it's not really advisable, especially if you've only got one life. But I've done this game a few times, so I'm kind of a bit used to. Always best to take their heads out, just uh, just in case they decide they're not dead. Is there anything over here? Ah, spread upgrade to start with. I'll use that on the pistol. There's a few bodies here. I do need the uh, capacity upgrade on the pistols as soon as. Backpacks full up already. Uh, right in there. When you find the box, link the pad up to bring the cameras back online. The box is here. Here's the second box. These two you get shown where they are anyway. Um, it's the Good. others you've got to the CCTV search for. Every time like you I said, scan one of those junction boxes, I'll hack it and update your smart map. Take a look at your pad. Just for safety, yeah. let's pop his head as well. Good. Now, find your way back right. to that shortcut you passed earlier and get your ass back to the safe house in one piece. Okay, that's the aim. Get back to the safe house. We can slip out the side door, but I know there's uh, a couple of zombies waiting just outside of here. Like the electrical one over there. Punk's making enough noise to raise the dead. Get out of there! Oh shit. No, why isn't my character running? Okay, I'm gonna have to make a quick uh, get away here. There's too many zombies there. Yeah, too many risks I'm taking. I need to sort of take a step back. Let's get back to the safe house. This game isn't actually that long. It doesn't really take that long at all to uh, to load, like to load to complete. But it's just so you made surviving. It now you may have noticed a box in the main room with a raven symbol on it. Time to show you how it works. Yeah, hi Nick. Um, I tend not to uh, keep the the lower healing stuff because there's plenty of health kits lying around. Plus, I want the mines more than that. Just have a sleep. Sleeping heals you, obviously, and um, it replenishes your flashlight. So if you're ever near a bed that allows you to sleep in it, make sure you do that. Quickly upgrade the spread on the pistol. Okay, there we go. Shite, and not before time. There's a horde approaching. Check your radar. There's a few coming.
there. Nail it up a bit, and then what you do is you throw that in front of the other door, and you can literally just sit back in, in here. They can't get in for well, they can, but not easily. They're going to come around to this door now, which is also nailed and barricaded, or not? Yeah, they are. They come around to here. Come on. And open. Not yet. Come on. Okay, leveled up the pistol. There's a. Uh, there's still a few more. Like an animal. And that's how I think of them. Not your neighbour, your friend, your relatives. They're all dead. And those things wearing their faces are not human. So this guy talking to you, the prep is a bit blunt, isn't he? Ah, there you are. You, oh. How dare you sneak up on me? Alright, what have you got? Pistol ammo, lovely. But if you got through earlier, you'll have to finish them off. Where's the few from earlier? I'm pinging the radar, I can't see him at the moment, I'll wait for him to come to me. Oh, screw it, I'll go for a walk. Okay, they are all over there. Oh, there's three. Lovely. It does seem like there's a hell of a lot more zombies. Okay, good. They're all dead now. Let's go and sleep. Get my health back. Get my uh, batteries recharged. Get some sleep now. Uh, yes, I do remember you, Yui. Nice of you to join on the stream. Oh, just sort of close myself out. Okay, let's. You can pop. stash your weapon. I've had an idea. I think it's time we got eyes on Buckingham Palace and took a look around. Oh, don't you know, let me go to Buckingham Palace yet. If they're distracted, keeping the infected out. <clears throat> okay. Have a little sleep, get my health back, and now we're off to Buckingham Palace. You need 
to get inside Buckingham Palace. It's your best hope for better weapons and supplies, even if it is overrun by infected. There we go. Get the mission brief done. Go to the Royal Bunker entrance, which is uh, just after the Victorian Monument. But I need to get a badge pass first. Which is in there. Zombies making that noise, there isn't any here. Anyway, right, so we're off to go to the underground now to get to Victoria. Oh, the Victoria Monument, sorry. No, there shouldn't be any zombies down there because I did kill the two that were there um, earlier. Oh, there is one. Alright, slip through the net. It's alright, he's dead now. Okay, this way is the uh, Waterloo and, and City line. This takes me through to the Victorian Monument. Things could have been so different if people had listened to John D. But by the time he saw what was coming, Elizabeth was dead, and James I had no love for prophecies or alchemy. And he was so obsessed with black magic, he wrote a manual called Demonology and sent his witch hunters around England to hang witches and warlocks. D had to go into hiding. Bloody idiots. Down here we go. Sorry for the pop up on the screen, it's nothing important. Okay, off we go to the Victoria Monument. There's a hard bit here actually, but I should be alright because you have a, a machine turret. sewer part first then you go up onto the main area um, you do get a shortcut beforehand um, and I'll show you where the boxes are uh, in this uh, area I should be able to remember where they are to be fair as soon as I've done them all earlier again good thing about Book Palace it's not just a building it's a fortress yeah. A highly secure location. You can bet your ass they've stockpiled guns and ammo like nobody's business. What have you got for me? Two pistols of ammo. Uh, I'll accept that happily. Nothing there. That door's lock picked. Which I haven't got a lot quick yet. Uh, more ammo. The more ammo, the better. And again, more pistol ammo. How much have I actually got? Oh, I've only got three now. I've reloaded. Um, while I haven't got any other weapons, I'm going to make that a quick item so I can heal up in a flash. Right. Ok, 
I can't go for any of there yet. Right, here's the save point. I'm going to take it back to the uh, safe house. If I can make it back down there. <clears throat> right, here we go. Back to the safe house. Not doing too bad so far. Could be doing a lot worse to be fair. Have a little sleep. Now we're back at the Victorian Monument. The only way to go is up, back onto the normal area, just here, and then up again. Obviously to go out of the sewers, out here. Which are now uh, outside. There's a few zombies here, I know that much. by a few, there's one even walking around up the top then. And there's a couple down here as well. You. More handgun ammo. And even more handgun ammo, perfect. Oh, he's coming. Ah, oh, there you are. Hello. Goodbye. Molotov cocktail. I will not say no to one of those. Okay, I get my first weapon here, which is a carbine. There's also another box here on the wall just in front of you. coming from both sides now. This side will break first, so I'll wait for this side. <laughs> Reload this. There we go. Now this bit here, I have died on this on normal. I'm not going to lie about that, I have, but I should. And I'm going to emphasize the word should be alright. Let's just reload all the weapons. And I'll get my shovel here in a moment, actually. Two seconds, and then we're good to go again. I really hope I can do this on survival because that'd be another trophy, and then I need to go through it once more on um, standard mode, and hopefully it won't glitch on standard mode. Right, let's go. Never forget that. 
Okay, here's our first uh, swap man. I say swap, it's just the arm play. Brief Max takes off his hat. And normally two to three are, well, three to four. Maybe five then. Uh, kills that guy as well. Okay, there's another one there. How dare you? Yeah, this is definitely hard. They do take a lot more hits. I'm not going to heal just yet because I know there's a bed. Um, just before I get attacked by a swarm of them. Look up on the roof. Someone's raised the flag upside down. That's a distress signal. Maybe they're still alive inside there. Oh, what's that? Okay, I didn't even realise he was there. How bad is that? Take him out. Now nah, here's where you get the shovel. Right, it's just I'm around here. Sure there's an old raven shelter just here. Find what you oh, need down eventually there. fall down. Right, in this instance, I'm going to have to drop the planks because I don't really need them at all. I'm going to take the shovel because it's got a longer reach than the... Yeah, simple reliable has greater range and power than the cricket bat. But I can't put the cricket bat down, which is the unfortunate thing. I'm actually gonna drop the mole. I'm gonna drop a mine as well. Actually, I know where they're gonna be coming from, so I'll. Look sharp, soldier! Oh, damn. I activated this bit a little bit too early. I've got 202 ammo left. Okay, not many left, I don't think. This should be the last one. And it is. There we go. Um, right now, I have a lot more ammo left over for that turret than anticipated. Hey, huh? Got plenty of pistol ammo, though. Okay, so here's a save point. 
I might as well save that now. So now I've cleared that load uh, of zombies through here now. There's your way in. Be careful. Radio signal won't reach you down there. You're on your own. Firing speed upgrade. And down we go. I'm going to be going into the palace, uh, Buckingham Palace underground now. And then probably to the bit that I do dread a little bit is the inside of Buckingham Palace itself. But I get a crossbow there. So I can't really complain. Okay, thanks for letting me. Hit first, ask questions later. Come on. What have you got for me? Okay, kind of soda that I don't need. Thank you for the first aid kit. In we go. Okay, thank you for the pistol ammo. Kindly appreciated. There's, this is one of the other, this is the other box um, in the Victoria area. There is one in the park which I'll be showing you later, that's the last one for this uh, this specific area. Lovely woman, the Queen. For an ancient lizard posing as a human anyway. But I tell you, she knows the score. It's the government didn't want anyone to know about Dee's prophecy, not her match. I hope they get her away to India or something. Their climbers okay, here we go. anyway. Into the underground bunker we go. Where we first meet a doctor looking to, well, to cure this whole thing. He's trying to develop a panacea. Okay, let's go. Oh, let's scan that first. Give me a sec. There's your way in. Be careful. I won't have eyes on you down there. You're on your own. I'm losing you. Must be shielded. Ah, oh, there's a raven back. room down here. Let's go and save it. Not that it needs to be saved because it's a one-shot uh, video now, but... Let's sleep with a door open as well. Why not?
Now the crossbow is a good weapon, but it doesn't always kill him if you shoot him in the head. And that'll be when I go upstairs to get a, a book for this doctor. That's down here. One, two, three. You there? How did you get in here? Hello. Oh, never mind. You, you're clean, aren't you? So you must be pretty good. And perhaps we can help each other. Uh, sorry, I, I should explain. Right. There are security monitors and speakers in the walls. I'm Peter Knight, junior doctor to the royal household. So don't worry, you're not going mad. <laughs> uh, well, um, Very funny. Do come and find me in the lab, won't you? Take these and kill these, sorry, in case I need, well, in case they decide to come back alive. That's the way to lab. I'm going to go down here first because there is a, a dead person down here. I need C4 for these specific locations. That will be later on in the game. Yes. Shame about this chap. He couldn't handle it. Ah, silence pistol. I need that. Then again, maybe he was more sensible than the rest of us. Uh, I'll have to drop a mine. I need all the health kits I can get. Now this silence pistol is literally what I need. Makes things a lot easier in this game when things are silenced. This way. Sorry, I know these corridors are a labyrinth, but well, that's the point, you see, to keep intruders out. <clears throat> I suppose I should warn you, there are also a few infected roaming around in here. Used to be a mega group of soldiers, you see, but... <laughs> they are infected. Terrible shame. There we go. Now we first meet the doctor here. Welcome. Do make yourself at home. But please don't touch anything. This is all vital. He does take a long time to tell you what he wants. I don't understand why. You, just a precaution. Sorry, I can't greet you in person. We have to wait for him to actually it's talk. Safer for both of us, you understand. I'm researching a cure for this terrible infection. You see, it's slow going as I have so few subjects to test on. Like those poor Omega Group soldiers. Not my finest hour, I fear. If you'll forgive me for a moment. I'm sure you can help me. What's he doing? Oh, he's looking in their face. Come on, tell me what you want and then I can go and get the book from upstairs. <coughs> Which later said, in the game there's a few teleporting zombies. Under. Come on, hurry up. Right, now here's how you could help. There's a book, De Remedi Secreti, by Conrad Gesner. Okay. A fascinating text, but what I'm after is Dee's own copy where he made annotations. I believe it's in the palace library, which means going upstairs, I'm afraid. Okay. Would you be so kind? Okay, let's go upstairs. Not that way, this way. Not that way either. The bunker elevator can take you up to the palace. Now if I'm not mistaken, this way is actually a shortcut down here. Not that way. There we go. There is a shortcut there back to uh, the safe house. <clears throat> but for now, what we're doing is we're going upstairs to the main part of Buckingham Palace. Which has opened up a door for me kindly.
Back this way. I hope you don't mind the music. By okay, the way. here's the lift. William Byrd, Elizabeth the First's favourite composer, apparently. Here we go to floor one of Buckingham Palace. You're doing ever so well. I do feel awful about the poor guards. Well, technically, I'm an Omega group myself. Started as an army medic, and then they posted me here. That's such a shame. Those soldiers were an elite. So sad to see them like this. That one there is what we call a spitter, that white zombie. Or the one in the... Like that, he spits goo at you, I don't know what it is. He's dead now. Oh shit. Okay, so at least now I can get a health kit off of this guy um, and set another one as a quick item. Right, I'm just going to grab the crossbow now while I'm here. Which is right here. So you run into that, well there is a space there instead of a statue. Run into there and then you get the crossbow. And then walk back on it and it lets you out. instead now. Now I know where I'm going here but it just there's a lot of zombies. And there, there is a hell of a lot of zombies. Okay there is a little passage right there I could have taken but as you can see that zombie there was waiting for someone to come through there and then he would have dragged them out and then I'd have taken uh, more damage than I needed to have. Okay, Spitter's dead, so is this poor guy. I don't need a Molotov, well, I don't think I need them. I've got one, that's fine. I've just realised you probably have no idea what a mega group is. <coughs> Top secret. Well, you probably see. not unless you that explain it. Now. It's an elite group to protect the royal family. Well, the outbreak caused them all, and now all these poor men who used to guard the bunker. Well, I suppose you could say they're still guarding. If only we'd paid more attention to Doctor D. Okay, out of ammo for the carbine now. I wonder where these extra zombies came from, but they're just literally toppling over that. Yeah! <laughs> 
Slow down already. There we go. Nothing. 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 Damn, I need that ammo. Right, I'm gonna have to drop. Screw it, I'll just use one of those. I don't really want to use one. Go caveman on your ass. Yeah, um, I'm doing my best at the moment. Um, I do hate this part though, because there is zombies that just pop out of nowhere. Like this. There's a spitter there, but I know going in that room normally sends another few this way. Um, oh, hello. Goodbye, Spitter. Right, carbine ammo. Tell you what, just for my own peace of mind, I've dropped a, a mine right there. That's barred off. There is the extra large backpack in there for afterwards. Four six two four. Okay, there we go. They're coming behind me now. Hence, that mine saved me a little bit. There's still obviously some coming this way. Tap dance on that shit. See what happens. Can, no, I can't pick the mines back up. Um, plus, I'm on survival mode, so if I literally get killed by that mine, that's game over for me there. Come on. Come on, how long does it take to actually get him on the floor? There we go. Right. Uh, coincidentally, those mines are what actually stop me from getting perfect games on standard and not like chicken mode. There's one mine near the church that I just keep walking on. Like, I just for some reason, it, I'm just attracted to it. <laughs> oh, damn you. Okay, so you're dead. I don't want to get back on the ladder. Right. Let's run. Bollocks. That's okay, ladder's here anyway. Okay, this way. There's a zombie. Oh shit, what did I turn my back for? Get on that fire, there we go.
I'm surprised that fire hasn't actually burned down the entire palace. One bullet. <laughs> yeah, the asbestos would put the fire straight out. Personally, I think it would anyway. Oh shit, not again. There's three of them. Nah, it's just a prick in a hat that I've got to kill. Right, there we go. Now, when I come back here later on in the game, there is teleporting zombies. Which are a pain in the fucking ass. Okay. Now, we're almost at the office of John D. And there's a zombie just over here. Okay, there's not a zombie here. I lied. Where was I? Might let's pick up the Queen's letters. Ah yes, Dr. D. John D was a scientist, alchemist, natural philosopher. There's his book. To Elizabeth the First. Some people say he was even a spy. Imagine that. And D wrote a warning, you see, about this outbreak. Oh, dear. Sorry, mustache. Um. Oh shit, what'd I do that for? Fuck me, I just dropped that gun for some reason. I'm an idiot at times. Right, what's this? Black Prophecy leaflet there. Is that to pick up the annotated book? Yes, yeah. The book that was over here. Um, now I get to go through here, pick up the extra large backpack, which is actually this way. There we go. You're dead as well. Okay, so there's the extra large one. I'm going to open up that little passageway for later on uh, and then head down here. Following the recommendations Horses. of De Remedi Secreti, I reduced the pus to a dry powder and discovered that injecting the concoction into the subject, God forgive me that I refer to my own wife as subject, causes the black blood to just listen to what you've got to say for just a moment. I glimpsed the flush of my wife's once rosy complexion through the sickness, but alas, she then succumbed to one final fit. And at last, with blessed mercy, ceased moving forever. May God have mercy upon her soul, and allow it now to rest. I remain convinced this volume offers practical methods for obtaining a solution. Perhaps even the key to save us all. Right, let's uh, carry on. So this is where we found the, the crossbow down here. Just about to embark on Buckingham Palace. Played the game first time before I had this time. Ah, okay, yeah, no, I had that as well. Um, when I got to the door to the subway bit, it, it took about another hour for some reason. It was stuck on 87 for a while. Um, my first broadcast of this game it should be on my channel um, it shows it on there I had to stop the broadcast for a bit because obviously I couldn't just stand there while it was going that would have just been boring
Right, so we're an hour in and I'm already uh, about to get my first prepper pad upgrade. Loading, there we go. Okay, let's give him. Okay, what's happening here? Random cutscene. Is he infected? It could seem like he's infected. Ah, uh, hello. Oh, I see you found Gesner's book. I do hope it wasn't too much trouble. I'd pass it through, would you? Come on, give me a prepper pad upgrade. Ah, oh, wait. There's something else. Mm, that gadget of yours looks rather like something the Omega chaps used to carry. Would you step over there and scan that infected chap with it? A full scan and analyze, mind you, to isolate the infected Ah, lab. okay, there we go. The human body I've got really a pad upgrade a now. Thing. Even after all vital signs in the subject cease, the body continues to fight the infection. Amazing, eh? I thought so. We'll have to put him out of his misery first. Yeah, then take the syringe and fill it up with antibodies from the infected gland. There we go. Perfect. That's actually a really good lifesaver. If one zombie grabs that you, you can just inject it. We'll synthesize a viricide, a sort of poison, quite deadly. There's enough for one injection. Oh, stop talking and hurry up. From another oh, I've done it already. Volunteer. What do you mean the door's locked? In return, I've got to wait for him to stop bloody talking. A second book, Studium Contagione. The study of infection by D himself. It's very rare. But I happen to know Ron Friedman has a copy in his flat on Brick Lane. Ron Friedman, okay, we're going to Brick Lane Ron's now. One of those raven chaps, you see. I actually used to go to Brick Lane in London just to get a pair of trainers sometimes. Cheap up there. Uh. Right, let's go. Okay, it allows me to open the door now. My light's just about run out. There we go. <clears throat> what I'm going to do first is go back to the safe house, unload a bit of crap out of my bags and uh, have a little sleep to restore my health, flashlight, and just to save the progress where I'm up to. In case something does happen to the live stream, I'm not saying it will, but it has happened before. This is where it all started, and this is where it'll end. I promise you, protect the safe house. Your survival depends on it. Right, let's save it. Okay, now we have to go to Brick Lane Markets to get to Brick Lane Flats. Yeah, quite a funny bit in the flats that I'll be able to show you on this anyway. I also missed a camera that I'll have to show you uh, in a minute. It's back in Buckingham Palace in Ron Friedman's, uh, not Ron Friedman, in, D in D's room, uh, just above the door. There is uh, a camera above. There's quite a few zombies out here. Oh, look at him in his purple top. 
Now let's go and kill him as well so he doesn't feel left out. Okay, pissed Lamo. Okay, so now we're going down another alleyway. <clears throat> Some of the weapons I won't be able to get yet because I need the upgraded um, pad to use the decipher for the Raven rooms. But I'll show those in a minute. Hi there, thanks for joining. Uh, we're just on our way to Ron Friedman's flat now. Skip that, don't need to watch those every time. You <coughs> goodbye. I don't know, you know, I don't really use the flares, maybe I should. Probably be a bit beneficial to be honest with you. That oh, looks like a party up there. Are you scavenging for supplies or what? The pickings round here won't be very rich. These poor buggies have to fend for themselves. Abandoned by the government, the so-called public servants, who all hot-footed it to Westminster and the palace instead. That lot of goodies did them, eh? There's one that? to the left, the zombie's That's gonna drop exactly down. That's why this country's gone to shite. People partying when they should have been prepping. Nothing on you. There should be an upgrade in here somewhere. If not a large health kit. I remember that bit. Right now there is a camera through a camera box through here. Um, I'll be showing you that one in just a moment's time. Honestly, I'm surprised anyone else survived. Okay, maybe not everyone knows about these prophecies, but to be so blind when Armageddon is in your face, I despair. Let's go up here first. <laughs> Flare, no thank you. Door's locked, I've got to open it from the other side, but saves that, jo uh, that zombie jumping out right in front of me. Shit, shit. Hello. There's another one over there. There's another couple over there. Right, let's go get this CCTV box done now first. Oh, shit. There's loads of these masks. Mask guys on. Up here, even.
I don't know how many shots to the face they want, but... So he's gone as well now. Let's drop into this vent here. This is where the other CCTV box is. So when you come into the uh, the warehouse, you climb up here, uh, as I've just shown you, and then you go down here. And if you look straight up there, there's your box for the first part of here. There is another one, Imron Friedman's flat in the uh, kitchen department, but I'll show you that later on when I get to it. There's a double barrel shotgun here though, which is always nice. The passcodes for these doors, I'm not going to bother even saying what mine are because it, it changes every game. So every new spawn, every time you, well not every new spawn, but every time you start a game or everyone else, someone else starts the game, it jumbles up the numbers. So it is actually different. There's a door there, but I won't be able to do it just yet. Let's pick up the newspaper. Reload the pistol. I'm not going to bother killing them right now. I don't actually need, need to. Find some way into the room. Looks like you can jump down through a hole in the ceiling. Another guy with a mask on. Okay, he's got nothing on him. Uh, let's go up here. This is the way to jump down into that room there for the double barrel shotgun. Pistol ammo. Oh, hello. How did you get up there? person over there, let's go up there and have a look, see what they've got. Nothing. Okay, so down we go. And then down there. Shotgun ammo. Hi there, thanks for joining. We're just uh, in the warehouse before Ron Friedman's flat. to clear some space.
I uh, don't need the flares. Now we're talking. Double the barrels for double the gun. <laughs> this game, yes and no. Uh, it can be hard, but it's actually not, if that makes sense to anyone. Um... Right, let's go down here. Okay, there's a safe room here, that's where I'm going to go first. I need to put some stuff away um, so I can clear some space out of my bags. Um, I might not, you know, if I do die during this, I have to start the entire thing again, and I probably won't do that today. that should be enough stuff uh, away for the moment let's save it get my health and my flashlight back up to back up to max and then we just have to head back almost into Ron Friedman's flat now this uh, this part is not too hard Fun, really, if anything. If any of you like my video so far, give us a little thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel also. Uh, I do daily game broadcasts, various different games. Right, let's continue on. So, back up we go. I'll show you the other camera place here, uh, which actually is in Ron Friedman's flat. Are. That's Ron Friedman's place. Is it? All you'll find in there is a soft-headed imbecile who turned the ravens away from the truth. If you're going in, be careful. Ron Friedman is a lying sack of shite. Don't believe a word he says. He'll send you off on some wild goose chase. Shotgun's not bad on this, to be honest. But I do prefer the tactical one. Um, I don't like this double barrel shotgun that much. <clears throat> right, let's call the elevator. take it anyway. Instead of using one of my main health kits, I'm gonna actually eat the smaller health stuff. Oh, 
Yeah, there's two that actually fall down this lift here. I know that for a fact. Come on. So I will have my crossbow belt back, thank you. What have you got for me? Ah, shotgun ammo. Only one, but one will be enough for that close combat situation. Sounds like a lovely party going on in there. Damn, there's three of them. Okay, that wasn't so bad. More pistol ammo. Plenty of pistol ammo. in that chest of drawers there. All right, let's go down here. Something's behind me. There, oh, it's you. pretty much easy anyway. All right, there's a oddly handgun ammo in the toilet there. Okay, here's the fun bit. In there, there is a lot of zombies, but they won't necessarily hurt you. Because of that music, they're actually docile. I can turn it off. Turn it on again, and they normally, yeah, they will go docile again. Hi there, thanks for joining. We're just inside uh, a flat that's having a party in the middle of the apocalypse at the moment. My aim could get a little bit better, I must admit. Yeah, hi there, classic uh, Z, well, snipers, I suppose that's meant to say, but nice of you to join. Who needs a flare when you have lovely loud music? Where's that one? There she is. I want my crossbow bolt back. There's one. Hi there, thanks for joining. Oh shit, I missed the bolt. So I've got another one back here. Oh, hello. Damn you and your jerky head movements. There we go. You do get a lot of crossbow bolts later on anyway. Um, I 
need to go through here. I'll take that grenade. Um, you never know when it will come in handy. Nothing else in this. Let's just... That smash is actually off of the TV there. How bad is that? Right. Okay, there's a zombie that comes out on the right there to save anyone from jumping. On the right there, that vent there. Right. Up, up, up we go. Shit on it. Okay, now I've got to wait for that one to come along. What's he got? Pistol ammo. Hello. There we go. Just sit cross-legged in the uh, ventilation shaft there. Um, I might need to use that. Uh, this game, depending on how comfortable you are, is hard. Um, survival mode is obviously the hardest. Um, chicken mode is just you can walk through the game, but you you can still die, um, especially from mines that other people have placed in the game. Um, and then you've got standard mode, which is obviously normal. So it's like easy, normal, and hard. There's a few zombies here. I'm going to try and save my ammo for this. But there, there's the other box, by the way. Just on that pillar there as you come into this room. Nice. Ah, oh, there you are. It's actually easier to let the zombies come to you in this. Don't rush to them because they probably will kill you. Alright, let's go. Not sure why I actually stood up on this bit, to be fair to you. Um, on survival, you don't die. Like, you, you won't, don't respawn, sorry. But you do, you just die and you have to restart from the beginning again. On the others, you literally just go back to the safe house and you get a chance to get your survivor's backpack back, the, like the previous survivor. Um, and then you... Uh, then it's up to you whether you get it back. If you lose it and you have all your weapons lost, they get scattered throughout the game, like as in various locations, and you have to go and search for them again. They're not in the same locations either. Carbine ammo, thank you. Let's eat that piece of cake. Chocolate. Oh, wrong gun. Oh, I'll put it away, that's why I can't use the carbine ammo at the moment. But I do want to get up there. And let's go on the other side. In there's the way we're going in a second. But for now, I'm going up here. Hi there, thanks for joining. I need that ammo there. Okay, let's push this out of the way and get in there. I actually get to fly down a, uh, a garbage chute in a minute. This is Sandra to all surviving Ravens. Yeah. Next six, 
18, 19, 22, and 34 have been raided by vultures. Situation still evolving. Ron, come in. It's Sandra. Ron, we're pulling out in less than 12 hours. Come on, let me get his head for you. If you're ignoring me, I swear. Answer me for God's sake, Ron! What have you got for me? Pistol ammo, thank you. Just leave the light off for a minute, I don't actually need it on right now. Okay, I need to go in there though, afterwards. Once I pick up the book out of this safe. Now the code for that safe is on the wall just there. For anyone that doesn't know. up saying wrong there hang on need to drop that and I'll drop a couple of fuses as well uh, fuses flares don't know why I said fuses there oh no no I need that fire power upgrade let's get the old elephant gun out you can also see the there's the box again for anyone that doesn't know on the other side there. Okay, here's the spiked baseball bat, or the nailed baseball bat. It is, personally, to me, it's better than the shovel. And here it is. Okay, let's fly down the chute here and get back to the safe house. Yeah, fuck that, I wouldn't slide down there. There's only one zombie as far as I can tell. Or is there more than one? This actually got me a lot more head... Um, well, I say headshots. You know where the head pops. Hi there, thanks for joining. Um, we're just going back from Ron Friedman's flat now. and Back to the, the Palace Underground. Where I need to go give the second book back. Um, you can't put the cricket bat away and the shovel I was using the, the initial three items the flashlight, the, the normal pistol and the, the cricket bat can't be put away I'm going to put the shovel back in the box now anyway Hi there, thanks for joining So we're on our way back now Oh, okay, we're back in the underground anyway Time to go into the, uh, the palace underground and give the book back to the doc who's waiting for me. All right, uh, let's wait. There is a code for this door, but you need the decipher for it to work. Yeah, um, the, I normally keep a few more melee than the others because you run out of ammo quickly as well. Um, Right, where's the dock? Oh, okay, I know where I am now. This way. Then this way. You do actually go down there later in the game, towards the end anyway. Well, pretty much right at the end you go down there. But we will get to that. Well, I'm hoping to get to that bit anyway. You never know, I might die and rage quit, so... Not that I'm going to. Well, hopefully not anyway. You found the Studium Contagione? Oh, this will be invaluable. 
I want to get the trench shotgun because I prefer that to this double barrel. I just got away from him to stop bloody talking now. So, so far throughout this, I've killed 154 infected. Uh, and I've only got a few bits upgraded on that because most of my kills have been have come from uh, melee weapons. Or melee, if any of you decide to call it that. Oh my. This is Dee's last letter to Francis Bacon. Francis, Francis Bacon! And so on and so forth. Yes, he mentions the Panacea code. Yes, well, if you hurry up, I can carry on and get you the Panacea. I believe they possess this code, and they must still be in London somewhere. I don't know how, but if you can track them down and... Won't be a few code, minutes now, while he's just talking. Sure. Meanwhile, I must soldier on. I swore an oath to my queen and my vocation to shed light upon the dark corners of ignorance. So okay, I've got to collect the seven D letters now. which you get throughout the game anyway. Um, I need to go back to the safe house now, which the lovely little shortcut down here will provide for me. Also, I'll be able to store some stuff now uh, in the blue box in your safe house. Right, so from here, I have to go to Spatfield Green, to the petrol station, then I need to go to a nursery, then back to the petrol station, then to the safe house, and then to the church, back to the safe house, to the palace, back to the safe house, back to Tower of London. Oh, I forgot Tower of London, actually. That Tower of London's uh, soon. I think it's in between one of the areas that I actually just stated. Right, let's save the game, get the health and flashlight back up. Okay, let's see. I know your green is grass, but try and remember to aim um, before you Crossbar I'm putting away for now, I'm putting the shovel away, I don't need that. These are the three items that you have to keep out. Um, flare I don't need on me. I think I've already got uh, I've already got a health kit out that should do for now okay so there's a letter in Hanbury Green that one there is Green Park we come to that actually soon that's the Tower of London place uh, I forgot to get one of the cameras in Buckingham Palace, but I'll be able to show you that later on uh, within the game because you actually go back there. Uh, there's one D letter in Old Brick Warehouses, um, but I need to go to the Tower of London to get the decipher code to to actually be able to get that one. There you are. Right, and the prep is talking to me now. Never mind. I've had an idea. There are reports of a military camp at the palace. The guy in charge is Colonel Waverley, my old CO in Desert Storm. So tell him the prepper sent you. He'll see you right. You could do with some better weapons and a bit of C4 wouldn't go amiss. Yeah, I wouldn't mind some C4 actually. Actually, I've got, I've got, I've got a few upgrades I need to use. Um, I've got firepower, fire speed and spread. Now, I use that the most, so that's getting all of them. One more quick save and then I'm good to carry on. Right, here we go. Now we need to go to, oh, okay, there's Tower of London, then it's to the, the nursery. 
or to the uh, petrol garage and the nursery then back again but now I need to go to Brick Lane Markets in order to get to oh no no I don't, what am I talking about I need to go to Victoria Memorial in order to get to Green Park which is uh, another box I'll show you so then you've got all three unlocked within the Victoria Memorial right up the stairs Okay, the Ravens of D are getting hold of me. Which means the Tower of London is after this area. There's a few zombies out here, I know that much. Most of these uh, red markers are actually crows. quite a few again most of them are crows I believe but that guy's not obviously let's take him out with a spike club shall we now we're going caveman Give me a key card, thank you. Oh, There's another zombie coming. Waverly was one of the good ones, you know. He had my back all the way through Kuwait and beyond. An honourable man. Shotgun ammo. Uh, what else is in here? Animal meat that I don't really need. And that's about it. I haven't actually got a weapon set on the other side. I just wanted to burn up that zombie there. And then pop his face. Okay, so now I'm going to sh... Okay, there's another zombie first. Let me just take care of this zombie and then I'll show you where the last box is for the Vic Victoria Memorial. Actually, I'll take that if, if I can carry. There we go. Reload. And then we're off down this way. As you can see, there's a lot of crows up there. They count. Okay, maybe not. Now I've got to run without dying back over here. They just pop out of nowhere. Right, let's have a little scan of the area in case there's any more infected. That's a crow. It doesn't look like it. So the last one, if you go across the middle island and go over to here, make sure all the zombies are dead first. And then just round this corner, over the far end there, is the box that you're after. There you go. And there's also two infected in the water, but if you don't go too close, you don't have to fight them. Right, so I've now got a key card to the armory. where I'm going next 
you get your C4 in there as well. Um, you also get your first assault rifle in the Tower of London, which is coming up next. The red zombies are the harder ones. But they are, they're guaranteed to have on them uh, a weapon upgrade. Okay, here we go. Back to get the C4 now. You're in. Nice. Now grab whatever you can carry and stash it back at the safe house. Okay, D letter there. What have you got in here for me? Sorry for hacking your comms like this, but the Ravens of D are planning an evacuation from the Tower of London, and we need all the fighters we can get. Help us, and we'll get you out. Hi to who? Right, uh, let's reload guns and then that should free up a space or two. For now, they should be able to pick up the crossbow bolts at least. Let's drop a flare, and then I can pick up. Yeah, I need I need the crossbow bolts, and well, I need the med packs to be honest more than anything. Good old C4, useless in combat, but there's nothing better for blasting your way out. Say hi, Ali. She don't believe me. This is live stream. Hi, Ali. This is actually being live streamed. Hence why it says live when you click on the actual video itself. Um, right, where am I going now? Okay, I've got to get to the Tower of London now. This is the way I'm going. But I'm going to go back to the safe house quickly because I need to uh, sleep to get my health and my flashlight back up to full. Cheers, Kevin, if that's to me, but I um, don't know if it is. <laughs> right, let's save it. Right, here we go. Let's go back now. We're going to go back to Green Park. That's the route to take to get to the Tower of London. Where we just were. And there's a lot of killing involved in this next bit. Okay, back out to Green Park we go. And there's a lot of zombies all of a sudden down there. I don't know if it's zombies, it could be rats, it could be crows again. I, I have no clue. It doesn't look like it's zombies, to be fair. Okay, everything has respawned out Don't here stand because. There, move! You're sitting duck! Oh, 
take your time, don't worry about me. She's a shit shot. Oh, she's shooting over there. How would you rate this game on a scale from 1 to 10? Um, do you know what? Just because of it's zombies and, you know, I love zombies. Um, I don't know. I'd give it about a 6, to be sure. Oh, she saved my ass there, to be honest. Oh. I'm just going to shoot him anyway to get rid of that body because I just don't want to get exploded. Right, let's pop a C4 there. Right, we're through. This is the way to the Go Tower of London. Keep going. Okay, pop this door open. Turn the brightness up on my torch. Okay, here we go, we're off to the Tower of London, we've got to go around the piers first, and then we can actually get to the tower itself. I'm only a couple of trophies off a of platinum on this game, to be on, to be fair, really. So you're running away with I need to get well, let me tell this one done, the and then I need to redo it on standard, because the original live stream I did the actual standard mode glitch, so I fell through the floor. Uh, and couldn't get any of the stuff was back. Right about the blight coming, but think he was wrong about who would survive. Okay. There is no saving the world. No evacuation, no cure, no respite. Only the prepared will survive. Isn't that what I've been teaching you? Yeah, I have to play out on survival. I mean, I've, like I said, I've still got to do standard again, but... I can tell you're not listening. Fine. But if you go through with this, I this won't This is the help best you. way. Plus, the, the risk in this, if I die and have to restart it, I, yeah, <laughs> that will annoy the hell out of me. This is Sondra from the Ravens of D. It's good to see you. But you'll need to clear a path to the tower. We lost our sniper on the perimeter. Okay, I'll get another, so I'll get another gun here. And my inventory's full. What's the difference? Survival, you only get one life. That's a 770, that. I used to shoot naps I got the plat last week. Yeah, I'm, I've am i got to do standard mode and this to get the platinum. Um, standard glitch for me, as I said, um, on one of my other videos that I've got on my channel. As for chicken mode, chicken mode is just really a walkthrough of the game. It is a good game. It is. It's a shame there's no scope on this, to be honest with you. Great, now I'm out of ammo. Yeah, I don't really like that one. I prefer this one. This carbine. Right, down we go, down we go. Now, there's a camera box just down here. Um, I'll show you it from two different aspects. You can just go along here like this, and it's there. So that's the camera box for this specific area, or part of the area. a lucky shot, I didn't even know he was one of the explosive ones. Let's 
That's it. Bring him over here. I want the third upgrade so I don't have to... Nothing for me though, bastard. Okay, there is the Tower of London though, or Tower Bridge, sorry. Tower of London's just behind this wall. Many people probably don't know this. There is actually a box there, around the other side of this boat, but it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't work. Oh, it hasn't worked for me on two different games. It might work for someone else. Yeah, if anyone's actually playing, give that a go. See if it'll actually open, and let me know what it's full of. I have died here before, um, in the sewer bit. I've just got to be a bit more careful. I'm trying to remember where the other box was. Ah, there's a spitter. Charles the second clipped the tower raven's wings after the great plague. It's the closest he came to admitting he believed the black prophecy. Well, that's only fancy there's a shovel in the game. Yeah, I have the shovel, it's in my uh, safe box at the moment. Did you find the uh, the spiked bat before, like I'm using now? Right, let's go back to the safe house. Right, let's skip this bit when it comes up. There we go. Okay, how long have I been streaming for? Okay. Yeah, you found that. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, the shovel's uh, in the Victoria Monument just uh, before the Raven Room. There's a box there with some ammo in it that you can pick up the actual the shovel as well. This is the last great plague. The ravens are restless. The signs are here and the blight is upon us. Just like the Magus D foretold. But never mind that for now. Sewers at the end on survival runs hits off. <laughs> um, I almost <laughs> actually died on chicken mode because I didn't know what to expect. How bad is that? Right, let's go. Crossbow's out now. So, back to the Tower of London now.
Okay, like I said, I do hate this bit. Um, and I'm hoping that I don't die and end this here because there's a lot more of the game still to go. At the end on to... Oh! Did you, you didn't get the achievement, I take it then. Oh! 